In this video, I will calculate slope using similar right triangles on the coordinate plane to determine the rise and run. So let's talk about what slope is. Slope is written as a ratio of the vertical change, which we call the rise, to the horizontal change, which we call the run, between any two points. A rate of change is a ratio that shows how one variable changes with respect to another. So as we look at this line that's graphed here, it has a certain slope. The slope remains constant for any two points on the line. So the slope from this point to this point is going to be the same as the slope from this first point to this last point over here. Slope describes the steepness of the line, so how steep or shallow the line is. Slope is usually written as a fraction in its simplest form, and the variable we use for slope is m. So whenever we write equations, when you see m, that's going to be our slope. All right, so looking at this example here, we have a B and C that are points plotted on this continuous line. We're going to find the slope, which is equal to the rise over run, or the vertical change over the horizontal change. So to get from A to B, we would have to move up 2 to the right 3. So we would move two units up, three units to the right. If we calculate our slope to be rise over run, the amount that we rose was two, the amount that we ran was three, so our slope is two thirds. Now here, to get from B to C, we would have to go up four and to the right six. So we would move up four, right, six, so our slope would be four over six. But notice that four over six can be simplified. Four over six can be simplified to two over three. So what relationship do these two slopes have? Well, two over three is the slope from A to B, and the simplified slope from B to C is also two over three. So what relationship do these slopes have? They're equal, which illustrates that point that the slope remains constant between any set of points. I'd like you to extend this and find the slope from A to C. The next two problems are on your own problems. Make sure you graph the points exactly because we need to be precise when counting the rise and run. And then this last example with points Q, R, S, and T. Make sure to copy down the um, sentences that you have to fill in and the questions that we've asked.